Good to be at the show. Dude, yes, how, how did is. that selfie just work out that you just took? Hey, listen, it's all, all about marketing. You got to take the pictures. Got to capture the moments. Mic in front of my face. Yep. Um, That's actually always the biggest thing that people are like. Have start a, leaning have a, away, start doing this. Dude, all the time. Yeah, yeah, people pocket. don't realize that you need to actually like keep your face on a swivel here. Mm-hmm. Make sure you're always talking right into the mic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really like that. that really well, you got to yeah. be a seasoned veteran, you know what I mean? you got to, like, know what you're doing <laughs> I mean, come in on, order guys. to do it right. You've been on the Big Ass Access <laughs> podcast before. <laughs> the Big Ass Access <laughs> podcast. Dude, we're going to rename this Jace. We need a new logo. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's cool to see how far we've come from when we first started doing like, that first one. Me and you oh, did dude. remote. I'm yeah. sitting at my house. Like, just to have the backdrop, have a full team together with a full setup. Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty cool. Ways, man. I yeah, one of these at ISC West, but this is my first one in the studio. This is pretty cool. The, yeah, the studio cool. is pretty fun now. Yeah. I, uh, the, the studio downstairs when we were on the main level was not nearly as cool as this studio. No. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, you got to do one in the studio downstairs. Yeah, that's right. We, we shared it with engineering, so it was a studio slash lab. Yeah. It was not as cool as this. This is way cooler. Yeah, way better equipment. It's fun. Very so. cool. Well, anyways, um, we're going to kind of dive right into it because we have a lot of sales guys with us today, and sales guys tend to talk a little bit. No. Yeah. Never, I mean, never. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm not the only one who likes to talk on podcasts, so uh, we're, we're going to dive into it. But uh, we do have the FNG with us right now. We've got yeah. Hal Henderson. Man, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> the friendly new guy. The friendly, friendly new guy. That's, new what, guy. that's what that's Thanks. what that's I what's like what's that. I knew, I knew it was coming, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> you prepped me for this last night. Nice. Absolutely. So anyway, so uh one thing that I wanted to talk about, so you guys are all here in town right now doing our sales summit. So we had to get all of you guys on the Big Access podcast at once to be able to talk about everything that's going on in your guys' area, what's hot, mm-hmm. what are some different type of opportunities that you are seeing uh dealers out there installing, looking at. And, uh, yeah, we kind of go from there. But um, we, we did split it because we've got, what, seven outside guys now? That's mm-hmm. a lot. And so we've got the, in, or the, the East, East Coasters Coast. here uh, with us. So we've got Paul Delasky. He's the regional sales director. You cover the Northeast Territory. Correct. I am Maine to Virginia. Mm-hmm. Maine to Virginia. And then you've got JR, Great Lakes Territory. Great Lakes, Ohio, and all the surrounding states, Ooh, including boy. western New York. There you go. Okay, and then we come over here. Now we're going down south. So team we, two. Team two. Team two. <laughs> Those started with us. 2.0. <laughs> so, Scott Nelson, you're the regional director uh, down there. You you cover uh, what states again? Yep. So, I've got North Carolina down to Florida, Georgia over to Mississippi uh, as, as a whole. Nice. Awesome. And, Hal, what's your, what's your so area, I brother? I Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, and the Florida Panhandle. Mm-hmm. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Well, welcome to the team. We are excited right. to have you here. Um, I, we have heard nothing but good things. Don't listen to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Thank you to everybody. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Yeah, absolutely. You, PDK is a great place to not only work, but it's a great product to uh, represent. And, mm-hmm. and uh, we are lucky to have you being one of those representatives of us. So. Well, thank you. Thank uh, but let's go and dive into what is popular in your area. Obviously, there are a lot of different types of access control installations that go on across the globe. Mm-hmm. I mean, right now we are doing a huge focus on different types of case studies, and you're going to see a giant quarter two focus for us is how PDK solves different problems. And different problems exist in different types of installs. Yep. So we're going to kind of go around the room and just talk about, hey, this is a popular type of install that I see going on in my area and ultimately why. So, Scott, let's go ahead and kick it off and have you talk about what is big in your area right now. Yeah, yeah. So really school systems are such a big thing. School systems are such a big thing right now. Uh, and a lot of it comes from the funding that's really coming down from government on really making sure that schools are able to accurately protect mm-hmm. the kids that are there, right, the teachers that, that are there and making sure that police have the right abilities to access the building and secure those kids. So school systems really started mid last year and going into this year, it's a huge focus uh, for Hal and I, because that's what's being kind of brought to our attention yeah, it's, from it's dealers. big right now, right? Absolutely. It's yep. that time to start quoting them out and starting to get all that grant money coming in. Yeah, and the lockdown feature, right, has become oh, so, so pivotal because that's such a key component yes. to how quickly, you know, you may have an access control system, but, you know, how quickly can you get that building into a lockdown scenario where those those kids and teachers and staff are protected and really lockdown with, with our touch app 
and then also through the admin side is so quick and customizable. It's no longer you have to go triple badge uh, on a reader, but you can, right? You still have that feature versus a button underneath the receptionist desk versus the touch mobile app where a resource officer walking around, sees something quickly can go ahead and put that system into a lockdown immediately don't tell yeah me. that's powerful it is powerful but mm. don't tell me that you just said touch mobile app twice sorry that is my bad <laughs> you know we, we rebranded that as the pro data key app two years ago on the pro data key app <laughs> <laughs> no that and you're you're not wrong there i mean mm. that being able to do those things on the go wherever you're at and being able to protect the lives and property of individuals there in the schools mm -hmm. is vital yep. i was uh doing a i was filming a case study uh at a church last week in California and at this case study, uh, a big reason why they love PDK is the ability to, to do a remote lockdown from their phone just mm -hmm. instantly. And it's really cool just being able to hit that button mm -hmm. and everything goes right into its lockdown state. Yeah, real time. Yeah, I love the it. integrations really kind of, you know, help out with that school part. You know, mm -hmm. you know all of our integration partners, uh, especially on the video side, um, bringing in the video manufacturers to do that, that school setting has been pretty big. Yeah, so far. That's awesome. Yes, sir. Have you seen any other uh, really popular types of installations uh, while you've been out and about in your, you know, in your two and a half days or whatever it's been that you've been here? <laughs> it's been a month and a half. Uh, <laughs> and by the time that this drops, it'll be uh, two and a half months. Two and a half mm -hmm. months. That's okay. But, uh, I mean, dealers, you know, follow people they, that take care of them, mm -hmm. um, especially the salespeople that take care of them, uh, answer their phone, uh, get back to them on tech support, and I think all of us do a good job of that, but... Um, like Scott said, I've, I've had a couple dealers bring some school projects and a couple small business projects that are in the works, but mm -hmm. nothing actually installed yet. So yeah, well, you're going to get there. It. Excited about it. Yeah. Yep, laying the groundwork. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. I mean, we, we always talk about the average time to go, you know, the average sales cycle is 60 to 90 mm -hmm. days here, mm -hmm. and then from there, you know, it's X amount of time to actually get the system installed. So, right. yeah. And I, well, I'm talking about start be dropping soon. Yeah, bringing up integration partners, right? The camera side is is super critical, and on the schools, that's something that we've that has been driving a lot of that business. Yeah, we have other integration partners, and probably one of the other big kind of verticals that we've really seen a lot of traction with, a lot of interest, and have done a lot of quotes and, and site walks with dealers is MDUs. Yeah, right? MDUs, yeah. especially with how the economy is and how many of these structures are going up, new construction versus re versus rehabs. Um, MDUs is a critical thing, at least for us in, in the southeast. We've seen a lot of yeah. lot of interest there. It's uh, funny you mentioned that. I just booked a MDU case study yesterday, mm -hmm. so we've yeah. already done the written version. We're going to go fly out there uh, here in three weeks and go and film it. So, well, I, I mean, that's generally a big part of the PDK business. I think, yep. mm -hmm. you know, um, <clears throat> we've talked about it in the past. It, it's really it goes all the way back to what we talk about. You know, anytime, anywhere, any device, the ease of use, and when you have what we'll call, you know, novices that have to use a, an access control system, mm -hmm. there's no better fit than Pro Data Key because it's easy to grasp, easy to use, and then for our partners, obviously, easy to maintain and, and support their customers. Mm -hmm. well, on these apartment complexes that we're doing, a lot of them are, are going up with our wireless product. Yeah. Um, because many times the... Uh, the, the buildings don't have any intercommunication, and, and the only way to get th the entire complex done effectively is mm -hmm. with uh, our wireless product, mm -hmm. which is really strong and powerful and has a one-mile open field range. So um, the, 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 the wireless is a, is a great solver. Yeah. Great solver. So, so, Paul, in your area, it sounds like you're seeing a lot of wireless with the MDU. I am. I am. <laughs> um, but I also want to elaborate on, on what Scott was saying with the, with the uh, school systems. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's more to that. There's, there's the entire local government. Yep. We're doing police departments. We're doing fire departments. We're doing libraries. We're doing uh, water treatment. We're doing uh, water supply. I mean, we're, the entire local government is, is all tied together. Yep. Um, and once you get into one of those facilities, it actually grows out to the other departments within the, uh, within the, the local government. So it's very, very effective. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that. Love it. And, and you're not kidding there. Being able to have everything, especially with PDKIO 2.0 that's mm -hmm. out now, right. being, you can do multiple locations all for a government application where you can have the fire department and the community center all be under one platform to be able to say, hey, we're going to manage every location for the city all from that one login. Yeah, yeah. and they love it. It's so love cool. it. Yeah. And with, with school systems, you know, a piece that our dealers are really having to look at now right, is most school systems are going to have some kind of access control on the main doors. Mm -hmm. But really, if you don't have that door monitoring, door position switches on every door, 
you don't have a secure access control system within that school. The fact that a lot of people just go ahead and skip the whole DPS side of things mm -hmm. blows oh, me access. away. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. not access, no, right? Not access. <laughs> if you don't know that doors open or close, it's yeah. not access. That's not access, right? If you're not monitoring it, what good is it doing? Mm -hmm. It blows me away that the, you know, as that many people standing open without mm -hmm. a DPS, our system is going to show it as a secure door, yep. and it's not. Well, and, I agree and with that. And that's piece with PDK, you know, product line wise, having the having the A8 is critical because now we're not talking about having to get all of those exterior doors back to specific IDFs or long runs. Uh, dealers are starting to be able to batch those just DPS or door monitor doors, mm -hmm. use that local A8 on the network. And so they can get all of those doors on DPS with a lot less labor wiring, wiring intensive uh, scenarios. Yeah, I, I love that. And I mean, that's a conversation starter with all of our partners. You know, when you start to ask, you know, what kind of cable you're bringing to the door? Yep. Uh, are you guys putting door position switches on? And when the answer is no, why don't you Time do out. that? Why? <laughs> you know? Why? Like that, and it's interesting. It's a $10 part. Yep. It's interesting because, you know, a lot of times the answer is, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, and yep. so, you yep. know what? But that's a that's a that's just a great opportunity to, in the consultative selling process, to advise the the partner who then has the wherewithal to be able to advise the client. Like this is why we're doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, this right. is this is an, a, a critical mm -hmm. part of the infrastructure mm -hmm. that is going to make this system operate the right way. Sometimes well, I have p customers who uh, <clears throat> the, the end user doesn't ask for a door position switch or DPS. And uh, the, the, the integrator said, well, I'm pulling the wire anyway. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have to pull the wire two weeks from now and have to do it all yeah. over again. Yeah, right. It's just a two-conductor. Pull yeah. the wire. Well, a lot of these federal <laughs> grants are mandating that there is DPS at least on every door and it's being audited. So if a school yes. system does spend that money, gets access control upgraded, but have doors without DPS, when they get audited come you know the next quarter when, when it comes through, you know, they can lose some of that ability. They're going to have to pay back grant money. So a lot of dealers don't know that. And a lot of school systems may not mm -hmm. specifically know. You have to have DPS. And not maybe not in every state, but I know specifically in Georgia, the grants I've looked at, uh, that's a mandatory thing for any of these grant spends. You have to have that, uh, that door position switch or door monitoring on every entrance exit. Well, and you don't have to you know you don't have to have full-on access control at every door yep. right. Right? right just monitoring the doors though yeah. adds a lot more mm -hmm. functionality for these end users sure. than you know for a much more affordable option than you yeah. know having to go out and install a, a full-on strike or install mag locks or any type of other electrified right. hardware mm -hmm. yeah. you're still getting access control benefits mm -hmm. just by running a two conductor out there and putting in a little DPS. But yep. I think yeah. they're seeing that more now that they're running these evacuation plans and they're doing these these live drills and they're seeing, hey, well, we can see that the out, outside doors are shut, mm -hmm. but what's going on on the inside? They have no idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got the lockdown on, but when do we unlock it? Yeah. So it's it's become very popular. Mm -hmm. Any other type of installs going on in your area, JR? Well, you know, I mean, I think that question is awesome, and it's and it's going to vary by, based on the region, right, or the mm -hmm. area that you're in. I mean, I'm in a unique place where in the Great Lakes region, I mean, we got big cities. We got Detroit. Uh, we've got cities with older infrastructure, you know, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Um, and then we've got kind of, you know, the farm country, mm -hmm. right, the, the spots where you'll find a lot of manufacturing uh, facilities. And so what I see is really a broad mix of different applications. I mean, it goes from, you know, the Corvette Museum down in Kentucky. <laughs> uh, it, it'll go to, you oh, know, yeah. the county of Richland. We talk about the municipalities, you know, that's a 112-door project mm -hmm. where they're, you know, upgrading their access control in every building in the county. You get the sports um, complex, which is a good install. And mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, I really kind of, I, I feel like I see pretty much everything, you know, a, a lot of uh, multi-tenant applications, a lot of gate applications, storage facilities. I mean, you name it, it's uh, it's something that I come across regularly. Well, and, and I think that's another good talking <clears throat> point here is the fact that you guys do see not just one solo type of install, but you are seeing tons of different installations. I mean, our partners are out there wanting to go and do different installations like that too, right? You do have partners who specialize in a certain vertical. Yeah. And, you know, and that's great. But then you have a lot that are just out there trying to install access control and cameras and all sorts of different security platforms to integrate them all together for anything that they can get. That's right. Right. Yep. And so making sure that you guys, uh, that our partners reach out to us as, the, you know, the sales team here to be able to get the instructions and the details and help have you guys help plan out that job is 
it's so important for them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's cool because we've seen these different applications. We Absolutely. can guide them the right way. And, um, you know, to the point you talk about the K through 12 schools, like mm -hmm. that's why, again, even some of those partners, if that's the vertical that they play in, you know, they're an important partner to have on our side too, right? Absolutely. I mean, so you do have some partners that they're, they kind of got that narrow focus, if you will, um, or their bailiwick. And uh, so it's important for us to, to be engaged with them, you know, to continue to grow that, uh, that vertical. Yeah. yeah, I've got a, a partner up in New Hampshire, a little shout out to Brian Akerley, uh, a and B security. He's actually been on this podcast yes. before. Um, and he specializes in access control, and within access control, he specializes in pro data key. Mm -hmm. So he is out there doing PDK every day, yep. and he's putting it everywhere. I mean, he's my guy in New Hampshire. Dude, if you um, follow PDK's Instagram page, it's just like, all right, share Brian, share <laughs> Brian, share <laughs> Brian. That's awesome. So, yeah, so Brian rocks, and you know, he'll, he'll put it in any, any place. I mean, yeah. there's no, mm -hmm. no specific vertical. It's just his vertical is access control. Yep. Yeah, I like, it. I like that a lot. Well, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to come and, you know, out of your busy schedule here when you guys are doing this PDK Sales Summit. We're Our excited pleasure. to have each one of you guys here. We're really looking forward to a really fun 2024 with some really cool new things going on. Yeah, so yes, thank you guys for taking the time to jump on. If you are in either of these states that they mentioned – Reach out to them. You can find all their contact information on our website, prodatakey.com. Go to the Contact Us page, and it's going to have all their phone numbers so you can reach out and learn more about PDK and learn about how it will work in, in your specific verticals that you're looking to put it in. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Big Access Podcast. If you have not already done so, be sure to leave it a five-star rating and subscribe, and we will talk to you next time.